Hey guys, good morning, good morning. Uh, well, I don't know you can see behind me, sun start to pop up. So, uh, good news, uh, I got invited to uh, Ray Track, tour the Ray Track from Fall Performance in uh, Joliet, Illinois. So, um, today is the day. Well, I've been quiet lately because not a lot of things we can do. With uh, this time of year, pandemic hit, and then you know, travel ban now is uh, COVID-19 on the rise. Busy at work. Thank God, you know, I still have a job and uh, able to pay bill and pay off the car. Um, just enjoy uh, driving around weekend. That's about it. So I'm now I'm heading to uh, Joliet, Illinois, and do uh, a uh, tour the track and uh, able to driving the. New Shelby GT500. So uh, that was uh, about uh, some of my friend. You know, you know, probably seen some uh, Facebook uh, National. Uh, what you call it, Shelby Nation? You probably see that. Uh, well, cars warm up. Get ready to drive. Uh, not that clean, but you know, a little bit dusty in here. Not, not a big deal. Well, she still look good. Well, well, guys. So uh, that's that's the plan for today. Um, I'm going there, and hopefully, I can record uh, the track and the uh, car. You probably seen the car, but I haven't seen the car driving around in the city lately. Uh, you know, especially the GT500 is too new. Um, not a lot of people having it. Plus, you know, when the release and then pandemic hit, and then not a lot of people able to buy. Uh, and the, the um, administration fee jack up like what thirty, fifty thousand dollars. Who want to buy that uh, anyway? So, you know that. So, just now to give you guys update. You're driving this car. You ref to 8,000, okay? You better check oil. Um, I just did the uh, oil jack uh, last week and uh, it is now to one and a half uh, quart short. Just right below, you know, the, the line, the top line, the bottom line. I was uh, below, uh, right the bottom line. And do these cars do uh, burn oil, so. Uh, if anybody having this car and say, eh, no, my car doesn't have a oil issue, well, because you're not driving like it's supposed to be. But expect it to be burning oil and we check your oil. Driving the car, enjoy the car. So uh, I'm heading out. So uh, see you in a bit. This product uh, basically sets the 2012 Boss 302. Um, so for us who, you know, we enjoy our jobs, we love what we do, we're blessed to be able to work on programs that, you know, because we're geeks, right? We're geeks like you guys. Um, but to be able to share that with people who are like us from a enthusiastic standpoint really is, you know, this is our best part of our day. So on, on behalf of the entire Ford team that puts this on, I want to say thank you. Um, so I'm going to cover just a few things here so then we can get your day going. But the first thing is the safety surrounding COVID. Um, as you see in here, um, we have done quite a few things to identify what we are expecting. Um, it is both, we are following both Illinois state law, CDC requirements, and the track rules. Um, so. If you're outside in Illinois and you're gonna be more than six feet apart, mask wearing is not required. However, it is encouraged. So as we're outside, if you wanna have the mask on and, and you're gonna be outside within six feet, you know, please, you know, feel free to not, you know, wear your mask. But what we would like to do is if you think you're gonna be within six feet of somebody, please leave your mask on. Inside, you can see some of the areas where we've designated the depth across with our big Shelby GT500 snakes, the Tiffany snake on there. Um, so if you, if you want to, please use your masks. If not, 
when you're outside and this is considered an outside area, um, you know, it's challenged by choice, right? You choose what you want to do, but the law is if you're going to be within six feet, please, you know, be sensitive to the other folks around you. One, two, um, I'm going to be babbling. first model year of the Mach 1, they sold 77,000 units. They only sold 6,000 units of the Mustang GT that year. Actually, Mach 1 then took over for the GT nameplate back until we came back up to the box spot. Right? So Mach 1 name means some things. It means personalized performance, personalized appearance to make that Mustang the one that you want. And this one will deliver on that as well. This is the appearance package. It is fighter jet gray to tie into, you know, the glamorous winners, the, the, the plane that built with Jaeger that beat the mock sound barrier. Um, we wanted to do it in fighter jet gray. The only Mustang that will appear in this color is the Mach 1 with the appearance package. But we also have the handling package. We have for the first time ever in our performance package five liters in automatic. That shift schedule that they have in that 10 speed, when you're on the drag, and it will have a drag mode, and it will have the wraps with a little Christmas tree in there, we'll have line lock and launch control. When you do that in this car with the shift calibration and the 480 horsepower, it literally pulls you from the seat of your pants and will snap your neck back. We are so excited to be able to be in dealership probably early spring of 21, um, but we're really excited with it. And it's gonna have an entry one. You can order a base, just like this one. You can order the high performance package on the 100A. Well, you can order the Mach 1 on a base level and tweak and tune it the way you want it, right? Because it's missing some of the things that a lot of people think of with Mach 1. But in the model year that we launched, the shaker hood was an option on top of an engine option, right? You had to buy the Coke jet and then buy the sixty-two dollar dealer option of the shaker, right? So I'm sure aftermarket companies will probably make it in there. Won't increase the performance of it, right? We we've, we've taken the performance from the bullet motor with the cold air kit right up here in front. So the shaker and air induction system probably won't improve the performance of it, but it will be visually if you want it. The second thing is the full fog lamps. How many of you own the Boss 302? Yeah, remember how we used to just pull the, the little plastic clip out so that the air could go through here? We did the same thing here, but the aftermarket, if you want the appearance of the full fog lamps, we'll have it available. For us, we have it in here so you can pull out the back so you can get more of the airflow. Well, here we go again. That's one of what all the show. Yeah, performing. Full performing package on a carbon and a spoiler damn that thing is huge take my wipe oh big huge and look at that snake cobra yeah, look at that carbon damn the inside is different too look at that uh, uh, center console Massive brakes. Wow, it's growing on me. Growing on me. Everybody's comfortable here. Okay, so first, this isn't a way you normally see your car. Right? You don't want to park this downtown this way. I know what they sell parking spaces for in the city of Chicago. Maybe people would want to start this way. But most people don't get an opportunity to see a car in this position. And so what we wanted to do, and we get some time to walk through and look at it after, is highlight the partners that we've worked with from Ford Performance to actually get to that performance. And we'll start with our Michelin Tigers here. 
So these are the Pilot Sport Cup 2s. The 4Ss are on the base GT500 and the handling package. The Pilot Sport Cup 2s are on the carbon fiber track package. Michelin, now I'm gonna talk marketing speak, right? Michelin developed a new cookie dough and a new cookie tin specifically for this GT500. So compound and tread uniquely designed in the 4S and the Pilot Sport Cup 2. So that, you know, as Spike Lee says, it's all about the shoes, right? You, 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 when you're coming down there at 120 plus at the end of that straightaway and you want to make that right hand turn, places you don't go at night, you need these shoes on this wall, right? So Michelin is one of the partners that we worked with. One of the cool things that you can see and we'll get close there is you can identify which the tire is on Michelin. On the tire it is stamped FP, meaning that was the Ford Performance version that they developed, not the street version that they sell. Um, and you can read it, it's, you know, this is all the smart engineering stuff, but suffice it to say, completely unique tire tread and compound developed for this car. Tremec. And Justin, when you go over to the zero to 60 to zero display, Justin from Tremec is there. He will be able to explain to you the mechanical. We have a cutaway tranny over there that can show you the dual clutch, but the first ever Tremec developed dual clutch manual transmission, right? Because it's literally two manual transmissions together, right? It's electronically controlled. It is not a torque converter automatic that we all know. Um, but unbelievable, and Justin can talk about that. Recaro. Um, Recaro will be seating you over there when you're doing your helmet and your Hans device in those seats that, you de that they developed specifically for the GT500 that is FMBSS compliant meaning it passes all crash and safety tests, yet can hold you, even somebody who's kind of shaped like me, can hold me in at 1.1 lateral Gs plus, consistent. Like, so you get it sideways and it. Partner with Ricaro, who does a wonderful job. And Nicole and Lana will be up there and be able to answer questions about that as well. Um, Brembo, oh my gosh, how did I forget Brembo? Um, you know, we can go zero to a hundred to zero on the aircraft enterprise category aircraft carrier. Now we've done it and measured it. We've done it on the computer to simulate it. I honestly had our team trying to rent one so we could actually demonstrate going zero to a hundred to zero on an aircraft carrier. We think that's a pretty good visual. Well, to be able to do that, you need not only the horsepower, Eaton working with the team on the 5.2 liter developing that 760 horsepower, but you need to be able to stop it. Six piston Brembo calipers working with the engineering team from Brembo and Ford Performance to increase 25% more swept area than the GT350s. I mean, it, when you stop, and you, you guys can feel this, I mean, if you've been on this course before, you, there's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, right? Gary was conservative, unusually so, and was breaking at the seven, because we had to shake down the cars on Tuesday. Somebody had to do it, you know, might as well be us. Um, so he goes down there. I can't keep up with him. I'm not as good a driver, right? But where I can do it is out braking him, and I know what these brakes are capable for. So he'd be hitting the brake at three on the short shoot and at seven on the long straight, and I'd be waiting to brake till, you know, way past the point of competency. Um, and it would stop. I, I can't wait till you guys see it. So Brembo is the other partner on there. Uh, we have used the Torsen rear diff, so the Brembo. Eaton will cover on there, Tremec will cover over there, Michelin, Ricard. Those are the partners that we work with. Magneride also. Uh, Magneride, actually a lot of different manufacturers use that. Um, they are working with us on it, but what separates the Magneride, and we'll talk a little bit about it, is more the calibration than the actual hardware. It's the art of how you fire the charge to the metal particles in there. But those are the partners and how we get there. Let's come over here a little bit, and we'll talk a little bit about a straight line and road course car, one of the things that we needed to do was increase the ability for the transmission to shift. Now, Gary Patterson is a very good driver, used to be a test driver for Carroll, still test drives today. 
0.15 to 0.20 from putting your third pedal in, grabbing it, making sure you roll your heel and toe to get the RPMs you want if you're downshifting. And you're gonna do that eight to 10 times on a relatively short turn course. One on this one, you're probably gonna be shifting eh, 10 to 12. 10 to 12 times 0.2 equals X. I'm not smart enough anymore to remember that. Blink your eyes. That's how fast it takes to shift the DCT, 80 milliseconds. Now, not only is it 80 milliseconds, so the hardware is there, and Justin will explain how it gets there, but the electronics, it will put you into the exact gear and RPM that you need to get back on the throttle after the apex. Now, I've been driving for a while. Gary's been driving for a while. We think we know what RPM we want to be in. When you're doing the heel toe, you get there, you might get within. This is so precise, it gets you there. So, like, when I break way too late in the short shoot, because it was the only way I could catch up with it, that made me way late going into the apex, which, and as you come out of that, I you run out of talent and pavement, right? So you go out to the side. That thing dropped me into a gear and an RPM that let me get back into the accelerator. So it helped correct my poor performance. Now it doesn't know, it didn't make me feel guilty. It doesn't say, hey, you're an idiot, you went too deep. Um, but what it does is it puts you right in that gear to be in there to get back on there. And Justin will be able to do it over here. He had a challenge. He had to make it look fast standing still live up to the heritage of the GT500, had to fit it into the current existing platform, and then, oh, by the way, manage coefficient of drag, downforce, and cooling. Working with the engineer and the aero team, obviously we think it's a beautiful car, but the splitter wicker for disruption should be five millimeters farther out. I think it's going to work. Send the information back up to Dearborn. Dearborn prints out the parts, ships it FedEx the next day. You can actually test it. And that speed allowed us to make more performance right in your third one. You can go right there, you can see it. That's another almost inch more proud. They were able to reiterate and redo the test car made in carbon fiber composite, but they had to work with the two position angle. They generated over 550 to design the car that is beautiful and performing. Now, the third one I said is cooling, which is over here. Cooling aspects of this. 11 different functions that they had to design in for cooling. This car is track braking mileage, and then you do have to follow your supplemental owner's guide for brake burnishing and all that stuff, but like out of the dealership ready to go and can run a full track deck. But you had to design the arrow to be able to supercharge your cooler from the high-end radiator cooler to low-end radiator cooler to the supplemental oil cooler and then the brake duct cooling that goes in. You can see we cut it out so you put where it comes out. And the last piece of the technology, and you can come with technology, right? But the, we could move the positions of the pressure flaps to make sure we were getting the air through. So, okay, didn't like it here, move it here. Didn't like it here, move it here. And keep making those iterations, right? And this is just change of pressure. Right, when the air pressure changes and it opens up so more air can go through. Again, innovation and technology that allows this car to be the fastest production Mustang we've ever done, zero to 60, quarter mile, zero to 100 to zero, and on the road course. So I wanna thank you. And I appreciate it. If you want to walk around, I think we have a couple of minutes left um, before you have to walk. Away.